Hello everyone, welcome back to the Byte Vigor channel. Today, we are going to explore the iterator design pattern, a widely used behavioral design pattern in software development. This pattern allows you to access and traverse elements in a collection without exposing its underlying implementation. Imagine you have an MP3 player. You can press the next or previous buttons to browse through consecutive songs. Similar devices include radios and televisions, which provide interfaces that allow you to traverse different stations or channels. The iterator design pattern is like these device interfaces. It provides a way to sequentially access elements in a collection without exposing its internal implementation. According to Wikipedia, the iterator pattern is a behavioral design pattern used to traverse elements in a container. The iterator pattern decouples algorithms from containers. To better understand this pattern, Let's implement it in Java using a simple example of a bookshelf. First, we define a collection interface that includes a method to create an iterator. Then, we define a concrete collection class, bookshelf, which implements the collection interface. In this class, we use a list to store books and provide an addBook method to add books. The createIterator method returns a bookshelf iterator instance to traverse the books. Next, we define an iterator interface that includes two methods for traversing elements, hasNext and Next. Then we define a concrete iterator class called Bookshelf Iterator, which implements the iterator interface and maintains the current position of the traversal. In this class, the hasNext method checks if there are more elements, and the Next method returns the current element and moves the index to the next position. Finally, let's look at the client code. In this example, we first create a bookshelf instance and add several books. Then, we create an iterator instance by calling the createIterator method on the bookshelf instance. Next, we use a while loop to check for more books using the hasNext method and get the current book title with the next method, printing it out. As you can see, the iterator pattern allows us to traverse elements in a collection in a uniform way without knowing its internal implementation. So, when should you use the iterator design pattern? When you need to traverse elements in a collection consistently without exposing its internal representation, you can use the iterator pattern. The iterator pattern provides a decoupled way to traverse collection elements while keeping the code simple and flexible. Thank you for watching this video. If you found it helpful, please like and subscribe to the Byte Vigor channel so you won't miss more exciting content. See you in the next video.